Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The black market thrives on more than just fluctuations in the official exchange rate. Speculators and traders often find opportunities in environments marked by uncertainty, and Iraq's economy has been fraught with precisely that, political instability, economic challenges, and external pressures. These factors create a fertile ground for speculation, even when official rates are adjusted. Political instability in Iraq, combined with economic challenges such as inflation, unemployment, and infrastructural deficiencies, fuels an environment where the black market can flourish. External pressures, including sanctions and geopolitical tensions, further exacerbate these issues, driving individuals and entities to seek alternative means of economic survival. The black market's resilience stems from its ability to adapt and evolve in response to economic policies and government interventions. For instance, even when the government attempts to address currency devaluation or inflation through official measures, the black market often finds ways to circumvent these controls. Speculators in such an environment are adept at exploiting any discrepancies between official rates and market realities. Here's where recent developments become particularly intriguing. Despite the government's ongoing efforts to suppress the black market, there are emerging signs of significant change. One of the most telling indicators is the notable reduction in dollar auctions conducted by the Central Bank of Iraq. Not long ago, these auctions were regularly dispersing around $250 million daily to manage the foreign exchange needs of the country. However, this figure has now dropped dramatically to less than $25 million consistently over the past week. This drastic reduction in dollar auctions is more than just a statistical change it represents a strategic shift in the government's approach to managing the currency and addressing the black market. By reducing the amount of dollars available through these auctions, the government aims to diminish the supply that fuels speculative activities. With fewer dollars available, speculators might find it increasingly challenging to maintain their operations, potentially leading to a decrease in the black market's influence. However, it's crucial to recognize that economic adjustments of this magnitude take time to manifest in tangible results. The black market's persistence is a testament to its resilience and adaptability. Those who profit from it are unlikely to surrender their advantages easily and may find alternative ways to operate under more stringent conditions. As the government continues to implement and refine its strategies, the effectiveness of these measures will become clearer. The significant reduction in dollar auctions is a clear signal that the authorities are committed to addressing speculative activities and curbing the black market's dominance. Yet, the real impact of these efforts will unfold over time, as the market adjusts to the new economic realities. As we monitor these developments, it's evident that the landscape is shifting. While the black market remains a persistent challenge, the government's actions suggest a concerted effort to address and potentially diminish its influence. Observers and analysts will be watching closely to gauge how these changes will unfold and what long-term effects they may have on Iraq's economy. Stay tuned for more updates and insights into the Iraqi dinar and other currencies as we continue to follow these critical economic developments.